I feel so sorry for people that just accept. I mean, they just accept life as it is. They accept life as it was. They accept their circumstances. They accept the fact that, you know what? This is my reality and I'm just going to deal with it. Like, they're just very realistic. They can't see beyond what their current situation is. You know, why would you ever be realistic? I just don't understand. Will Smith, he has this super dope quote that I love. He said, being realistic is the most commonly traveled road to mediocrity. If you are realistic, it is a guarantee that you are going to be mediocre. I don't understand that mentality of just accepting your reality. Understand, reality is temporary. It's temporary. Your reality and your life as you know it right now, it could all change within 24 hours. It can all change with what you know yourself to be, what you know your um, finances or circumstances to be today can be completely different a year from now. But I find that people, you know, they don't just accept somewhere along the line they've lost their imagination and they stopped dreaming. They stopped dreaming. They stopped really seeing. And, and I don't mean just dreaming. I'm saying really dreaming like when we were children and you had these impossible dreams. You had these unrealistic dreams. You saw yourself as you wanted to be. And somewhere along the line, you know, life kicked in and you started to accept reality. Why? Why would you ever do that? Why would you ever stop dreaming? And that's the thing about dreams, right? You know, you can dream yourself as the president of the United States one day. With a dream, it requires nothing except belief. That's it. You don't have to be prepared. You don't have to be ready for it. All you have to do is believe, and I mean unwavering belief, like I see it. I see it in my head. I know that one day I'm going to be such and such, or I'm going to be doing such and such, and you got to believe it with, with no doubts. That's all it requires. But so many people, you know, after life has beat them up for a little bit, they got a little older, and life hasn't shown them what they thought it was going to give them, and they stop believing. Now, now reality sets in. You're just good with that. And I don't understand why. Oprah, you know, she said, God can dream a bigger dream. And that's why I say, for your dream, all you got to do is just believe it. Don't worry that you're, you're, you're unprepared. Don't worry that you don't have the experience. Don't worry about any of that. Let God do what he does. You know, you believe it and let God do what he does. Let them doors start opening. But you got to believe it first. You know, we, we sometimes, you know, myself, I love to just look up in, 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 in the nighttime and just look at the stars and just dream and just let my imagination go. And I find myself thinking back to early man, thousands, maybe millions of years ago. Do you understand this is the same sky, the same stars that early man once looked up at and he just dreamed. He just dreamed that what maybe it's life out there. Maybe one day man will be able to walk amongst the stars. Well, guess what? In 1969, that dream was realized. Some guys kept that dream going and was able to send a spaceship up there and land on the moon. Why would you ever be realistic and stop dreaming? You know, we, we think like we take for granted today that we could pick up a phone wireless at that pick, pick up this little, you know, apparatus, put it to our ear, dial a number and we're speaking to somebody on the other side of the world that started out as a dream. Do you understand that? How many people do we know? And this is what kills me and why I say, why would you ever just accept? Why would you accept your reality? How many people, how many stories of triumph? How many stories of, you know, this person has beat the odds. You know, they go in and they, they, the doctors tell them you will never walk again. And they look at the doctors like, okay, I hear it. But it, it, 
They got to suck that up for a little while, but they start to dream again. I see myself not just walking, but running. And, you know, after a while, when they're able to do something miraculous, when they, when they didn't accept what that doctor told them, and they're able to get up out that chair and walk, they, all of a sudden, it's a, oh, it's a miracle. You beat the odds. No. They believe they didn't accept their reality. They wouldn't accept. Yes, doctors, I understand that you are, you know, you skilled, you went to school. You can only tell me what science tells you, but I believe in something more and I refuse to accept my reality. We see it every day, but people continue to doubt. They continue to doubt themselves and they continue to doubt in the power of a dream. I love Albert Einstein's quote because Albert Einstein said, imagination is the preview to life's coming attraction. Are you still imagining yourself doing more with your life? Are you like those athletes? You know, you can't, there's so many stories of athletes that'll tell you, I all, you know, I'd be outside when I was a little boy and I would just imagine myself hitting that game winning home run in the seventh game of the World Series. Or I would hit that buzzer beater shot to win, you know, the, the, the World Championship game in, in, in the NBA Finals. And then one day they do it. But they say it was up here first. They dreamed it. They believed it. Their imagination was that that preview to their life's coming attractions. What are you dreaming about? What have you given up on? Stop accepting reality. It is temporary. It is no more than that. It is today. Your, your tomorrow can be completely different, but you have to first believe it. And I'll leave it on this. I'll leave it on this. one of the greatest rappers that ever touched the mic, Notorious Biggie Smalls, you know, his first hit record. That really, really think about that lyric. It was all a dream. Like, like to that juicy record. It was all a dream. And I would love for you guys, forget your reality, forget your circumstances. Go back to that little boy, a little girl that you once was, and let it all be a dream. Peace and love. Make every move a power move and i'll catch you all on the next video what's up guys thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video truly appreciate you if you like anything you heard here today go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you know anybody that can benefit from this message feel free to share peace and love